first episode of Festive Fun. These little videos will be coming out to you every day for the month of December. My name is Dawn and I work at the Saskatoon Public Library. I am here today at my home on Treaty 6 land, homeland of the Métis. I'd like to share a little family tradition with you today. My family for the month of December does a countdown calendar. Um, we've also used this countdown calendar idea for my brother's 30th birthday. We did a countdown with little envelopes for 30 days before he turned 30. And we fill a countdown calendar for my in-laws who live in Ontario so that every day they have a little note or a little treat from our family while we can't be together, especially this year. So um, I saw this idea in a magazine many years ago and you make little envelopes with paper and put a little numbers on them, hang the envelopes up with clothespins. And then in our household, I use these little hooks that you can get at a hardware store and they're removable. So you can hang them up for when you need the calendar. And when you're all done your countdown, you can remove them and pack everything away. So um, when we first started, I took all of my family members to a craft store you can also go to Dollarama or Dollar Stores. They have uh, the, I think it's scrapbooking paper. And so everyone got to pick out their favorite designs and everybody got to pick out three sheets or four sheets. And we ended up with all sorts of everyone's favorites. We have ladybugs and there was a Thomas the Train here at one point. And there's little flowers and polka dots and stripes and buttons, music. Oh, here's the Thomas. This one just has old keys on it. So you can really personalize your countdown calendar to you. I think it would also be great if you had members of your household or friends or anyone who wanted to participate, um, color just plain white paper so that each of your envelopes is done by somebody special. So that would be a good idea. Today, I will be making one using this striped paper. So your first step is to cut out a square. And the way that you can tell you have a square is if these edges all match. You can also print out templates for envelopes, but I'll show you just a really simple folded one to do. So you have a center fold, and then we're going to be folding these two opposite corners right to the middle where that line, the crease is. So there's one. And you do the same to the second side, just like that. And now to make the body of the envelope, we're going to fold just the tip of this in. And I'm going to take my glue stick and glue just this tip down, just like that. You can also use tape. And then we're going to fold this part down. Oh, that's not sticking out. To form the body of the envelope just like that. And that's essentially it. I might use my tape to hold it in place. It's a little faster. And that is your whole envelope. And um, because it's a countdown envelope, countdown calendar, um, we printed off some numbers for ours. As you can see, they have little printed numbers. But I think if you have little ones in your household, it might be really fun to have them write the numbers on the envelopes. It would just make it that much more special. And every year they'll see how much better their printing or writing has gotten. Um, and then you fold the top of this. And we have one completed. I'll quickly put number eight on. After a few years of using them, they do get a little worn out. And so once in a while we have to replace them and we can pick out paper that reflects our family now. There we go. We also made a watermelon and some coffee cups. I hope that you all have a fabulous day. Take care, stay warm.